my name is Allison Gibson with Jimra. Thank you for joining me today for a shoulder and ab routine I designed for you. I'm really excited to go through it. We want to make sure we're nice and limbered up. So let's get started with some jumping jacks. We'll go to about 20, 25. Nice and limbered up. Good. All right, good job. Let's go ahead and do some shoulder rotations. Just get those shoulders nice and warm before we start working them. Do big circles here. Breathe even through these warm ups. We got a pretty solid workout ahead of us. So enjoy these while you can. Five more. Good. Great. Now let's do some alternating shoulder rotations. Just 10 here. One and one. Going for two. Good. Going for five. Five more. roll here and make it count. All right, so now that we're done with our warm up, we're going to get right to it. Like I said, we're hitting shoulders and abs today, so we're going to start with some core work, doing 25 full sit-ups. If you have an, a mat, now is your time to go ahead and grab that. We're going to jump down here to the ground for your sit-ups. We're going to start with our hands back here. I also want you to keep your heels on the mat to go ahead and flex those toes upward. I want you to keep them like that the whole time. It's a great way to work your shins while also working your core. You know, why not, right? All right, you're gonna give yourself a deep inhale. Come up for one, doing 25. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale, exhale up. Breathing through the motion is key. Good. Keep breathing. Keep those shins up. Toes pointed, heel on the mat. Crunch those abs. Inhale. Exhale all the way, crunch, right back down. You're doing great, guys. Keep those heels flexed, toes up. Inhaling here, exhaling up. Five more, last five. Don't stop now. Going for five and four. Good, two more, you can do it. Last one. And one. All right, minimum to no rest. Next move. Coming up here, making a tabletop. On your forearms, we're gonna go into a 60 second plank. In three, two, one. Hips are low. Legs are slightly wider than the hip width apart. Breathe through it. I know planks are hard. The key is breathing the whole time. Don't cheat yourself. 
Don't pick your hips up. That disengages your core. Keep it low the whole time. Right here with you guys. Breathe through it. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out the mouth. 60 seconds. You can do it. Think of how many, how many minutes go by in a day. You can give one up to this nice plank here I'm putting you through. <laughs> Keep breathing. You can do it, guys. Don't stop. Last five seconds. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax. Catch your breath here. Planks are so brutal, but it's all right. We're gonna take a break from the core work just for a minute. Go into a little bit of shoulder press. For your shoulder press, you're gonna need some dumbbells. We're gonna start by doing 15 reps, and then we're gonna do 10 reps of, alter of an alternating press, okay? So for your shoulder press, you're gonna safely bring your dumbbells up. What I really want you to pay attention on is notice I have a slight angle inward. Don't feel like you need to stretch back here. Right up here, our chest is not up. That activates your chest, so try to keep your core tucked in, your hips tucked in, nice strong body, going up for one of 15. Inhale, exhale up, good. There's no need to really come down too low. You're really just turning off your shoulders at that point. Just right about there, slightly under 90, and back up. Five more. Three, two, last one, good. You need to set them down and shake it out. You can, if not, keep rolling with me. We're gonna do singles. So go ahead and extend your left arm and we're going for 10 on the right side. Five more. Last one. Great job. Again, take a little break if you need it. If you don't, I'm gonna extend this arm, go for 10. Burn out, five, four, three, two, one more, and one. Great job, awesome. I can feel it, I feel my core, I feel my shoulders. They're dying, not dead yet though. We don't wanna be dead, we still have a little bit of ways to go. Shake it out. We're gonna move on to some more core work. Giving the shoulders a little bit of a rest. We're gonna do some leg drops, 25 reps. Jumping back down on the mat. Take your hands, go ahead and place them right on your lower back. This is gonna help support the motion and also really protect that tailbone. Sometimes this can hurt, but this will give you nice padding. Straighten out your legs. You're gonna curl them in, going straight up, and control down, bring it into the next rep, okay? We're gonna do 25 of these. The goal, again, as always, is breathing through the entire motion. You hold your breath, it's gonna be hard to do 25, so keep breathing, all right? Let's go. Inhale in, up, and down for one. Nice and controlled. What makes this so hard is controlling those legs down, not just letting them drop. That takes all the work out of the motion. The little crunch here, you can definitely feel it there as well. Good. Inhale in. Exhale down. My 
know when you have 25 of these, you feel like you want to rush through. You want to keep a good pace and not sloppy. Letting those abs work. Keeping that core engaged the whole time. Awesome job, guys. Almost done. Keep pushing. Last five. You can do it. Come in. Up and down for five. Good. Go in for four. Don't rush these last ones. I know it's hard. Have three left. Finish strong. Last one. Slow it down, crunch in, up, and slow, 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 and relax. Awesome job. Come back up. Minimum to no rest. We're gonna jump right back into another 60 second plank, okay? This time, instead of being on our forearms, I'm gonna make it a little harder. So we're gonna stay up on our hands, okay? So, 60 seconds. seconds down now. 50 more seconds. You can do it. Keep those hips low. Again, the second you start coming up, really not doing the workout anymore. Hips are low. If you're really struggling here, drop back down to your forearms, but don't raise up those hips. Breathe through it. Inhale, exhale. Feel like you're doing awesome. Good job, guys. I'm gonna take a break in a minute after this and do some shoulders, give you rest. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right, relax. You are doing so good. Just like I promised, I'm gonna take a break from the core so we can do move on to an Arnold press. Focus on those shoulders again, okay? We've given them enough rest, all right? <laughs> we're gonna do 15 reps of our Arnold press. Then we're gonna go on and do singles, just five reps each side, that's it. And then we'll get a little break, stretch it out, and we're gonna go through this routine one more time. But first, let's finish off with our six, ex six exercise. Arnold press looks like this. We're gonna start with the dumbbells, right um, round your nose, Pressing up and twisting, okay? Not letting your elbows go out, straight up and down, all right? Let's get started, 15. Exhale, press up, inhale as you go down. Just like before, you wanna keep that core engaged, those hips tucked. If you start loosening up your core, you're gonna come up and use more of your chest than your shoulders. We don't wanna do that, so we're gonna keep that core tight. Press up, nice and strong. Good, inhale, exhale. These are hard, you can do it though. Five more. Three more, don't quit. Last one, you guys. And one. You can shake it out a little bit. Remember, we still have those singles, so stay with me, all right? Bring it back up, and five, four, three, two, and one, five, four, three, two, and one more. Great job. Set these down, stretch a little bit. Now is a great time, grab some water. We're gonna go through that routine one more time, you guys. I know you can do it. 
Stretch out those shoulders. Grab some water if you need to. Y'all are doing amazing. Give yourself some shoulder rolls. All right, feeling ready to go again? Hopefully, because we're going. Let's do this. Going back to our 25 full sit-ups. Hopping back down on the ground. Remembering our form here. Hands behind our head. Heels on the mat, toes pointed up. All right, 25, going for one. Keep breathing, deep inhale, exhale, come up. Don't forget about those feet. Sometimes it's easy to get caught up on the abs and let those drop. Just focus on keeping a nice flex there, working our shins as well. Coming up, exhaling all your breath. Inhale as you go down. Exhale, crunch, and back down. Doing great. Keep going. Power through, baby. Inhale. Exhale up. Almost done. Don't quit. Five more. Last five. Keep those heels up. Heels on the mat. Toes up. Good. Three. Keep that form for the last two. And one. Straight to our plank. Minimal rest if necessary. Going on to our forearms. Our hips are low. And plank. 60 seconds. Breathe through it. Get a break after this to work on our shoulders. Don't quit. You guys are doing so well. It's our last round. Keep it up. I know the planks are hard. Keep that core tight. Never stop breathing. Good job, guys. Keep going. Almost there. Five more seconds. Four, three, two. Hips are low. One. Relax. Good job. That one's tough. Shake it out. Grab some water. But let's move on to our shoulder press, all right? Going again to our full 15 reps, then 10 alternating. Finding those dumbbells again. Remember, our core is tight, our hips are in. Safely bring those weights up. Going for 15, all right? There's no reason to really lock out here. Just come up and back down. Nice and soft elbows. Core is tight, butt is tucked in. Five more. Great job. Shake it out a little bit. We have our 10 alternating ones. And this is our last time doing this, so let's crank it up. Bringing it right back up. Going for one. And one. Keep pushing, guys. Five more. Three. Three. 
last one. And one. Great job. Set those down. Woo! Working hard today. <laughs> I feel great. And you're going to feel so good. You're going to feel so accomplished getting through this whole thing. We're halfway there through our second round, well over halfway through the total workout. So stay with me, you guys, okay? We're doing those leg drops. Leg, leg, leg drops again. Can't talk today. <laughs> okay, guys. So again, hands right here for support. Legs out, coming in and up. 25 reps. Nice and controlled, nice steady pace. No need to zoom through these, but no need to go extra slow. Nice steady pace here. Good job. Almost to the finish line. I know core work is hard, but the core is the center of you, so you want to give it some love. Never forget about it. Exhaling as you go down. Deep inhale in. Exhale down. Good job, guys. We're almost done. Five more. Going for five. Three. Don't rush at the end. Two more. Make it pretty. Last one, come in, and nice and slow down, and relax. All right, jumping right back up, transitioning to our 60 second plank on our hands, okay? All right guys, hips are low. You got this, 60 seconds, that's nothing. All right, let's go. about the time. I'll let you know when we're done. Focus on your breathing. Breathe away the pain. <laughs> Think about that body you're going to have later from doing these. Remember these exercises are designed to be done weekly. So every week when we run through this, you're going to see great results. If you're having trouble now with these planks, they're going to get so much easier. They really are. Just keep breathing. I'm proud of y'all. Hips are low. Don't let that booty go up. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Relax. All right. It's a good time to take a little break. Grab some water. We're going to top off today's shoulder and ab routine with our Arnold press that we already did earlier, okay? Coming back up, finding those dumbbells. Again, we're gonna do 15 reps, then we're gonna do five singles. And then you did it, all right? So don't quit now, we have one more. All right, core is tight, chest is not up, nice and straight, strong back, hips are tucked in for 15. Never stop breathing, I know it's tough. Feel the burn, love the burn. It's gonna make you strong. Five more. Great. 
shake it out. Going for our last five singles. Starting with our right, leaving that left hand up, and five, four, three, two, last one, one. All right, time to give the left side some love for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you can set your dumbbells down. Guys, you did it. All right, guys, that was a tough one. It was such a pleasure working out with you. For my guys, these are great workouts for you too. I encourage you to go ahead and do two more rounds of what we just did to really challenge yourself and give you those nice, strong muscles, okay? And again, my name is Allison Gibson. I would love it if you would give me a follow on Instagram. We can keep each other motivated. It's Graham 15 that's A-L-L-I-E, Graham 15. I'll be back with you guys later to do phase two of these workouts. It's gonna be a little more advanced, so be sure you're working on these every week so when I come back, you can step, jump right in with me. All right, well, I hope you guys had a great workout. I know I did.